Walkable isn't a word that comes to mind when you think of Los Angeles, but there's ample opportunity for exercise on scenic hikes in the Hollywood Hills or leisurely bike rides along that string of sandy beaches. Here are the top 10 things to do in Los Angeles. Hollywood Sign Put up in 1923 and originally spelling Hollywoodland, a real estate development, the unmistakable Hollywood sign was only supposed to last for 18 months. The arrival of the Golden Age of Hollywood changed all that, and the sign has remained on Mount Lee in Griffith Park ever since, and dropping land in 1949. This landmark was rebuilt in steel in 1978 and was last repainted in 2005. One of the easiest vantage points in the basin is the raised patio on the northeast corner of the Hollywood and Highland Center Mall, and there's another atop the Home Depot parking garage on Sunset Boulevard. The Getty Center the main branch of the J. Paul Getty Museum is in Brentwood, surveying Los Angeles from its hilltop roost. The museum's founder was petro-industrialist Jean-Paul Getty, who left another $661 million to the institution when he passed away in 1976. This went towards a spectacular and labyrinthine new complex, the Getty Center, which opened in 1997 after almost two decades of planning and construction. Linked to its lower car park by a hovertrain, the Getty Center is a multifaceted attraction. Huntington Library, Art Collections and Botanical Gardens Among the world's great research libraries, the Huntington in San Marino, Los Angeles County, holds more than 9 million items, from the 1000s to the 21st century. For an everyday visitor, the Library Exhibition Hall draws from these enormous reserves, showing a captivating miscellany, from medieval manuscripts to documents from Abraham Lincoln's life. The library is in 120 acres of lush botanical gardens, with magnificent living collections of orchids, bonsai, cycads and camellias. Griffith Park in 1896 the Welsh mining magnate Griffith J. Griffith presented over 3,000 acres of Rancho Los Feliz to the city of Los Angeles as a Christmas present. Since then the park has added another 1,000 acres, making it one of the largest urban parks in the United States. Griffith Park is a rough-hewn wilderness, incorporating a chunk of the Santa Monica Mountains and streaked with trails for walking and horseback riding. Griffith Observatory in a second Christmas present, in 1912 Griffith J. Griffith put up the funds for the park's Greek theater and the Griffith Observatory, which wouldn't be completed until 1935. Of all the many enduring landmarks in Los Angeles, this three-domed Art Deco monument holds a certain mystique. The Griffith Observatory is posted on the south face of Mount Hollywood, the highest peak in the park, and the sight of the city rippling in the sun or twinkling at night from observatory's terraces are the stuff of dreams. Los Angeles County Museum of Art The largest art museum in the western United States, and one of the largest museums of any description in the country, LACMA on Wilshire Boulevard's Miracle Mile is in a mishmash of seven buildings on a 20-acre site. The collections are mind-bending vast, covering all ends of the earth and from the ancient times to the present. For the smallest summary, there are inventories of Greek, Roman and Etruscan art, American and Latin American art, modern and contemporary art, Islamic art, Asian art, decorative arts, photography and film as well as eye-catching permanent art installations. Venice An eccentric neighborhood and seaside resort, the world-famous Venice is Los Angeles at its most cosmopolitan and independent. Although gentrification has crept in, the 2.5-mile Venice Beach boardwalk is still prowled by outlandish characters, and teams with tattoo parlors, cannabis shops, international cuisine, countless street vendors and a big cast of street performers. Getty Villa Before the Getty Center there was the Getty Villa, commissioned by J. Paul Getty in the 1970s after the previous gallery on his property in Pacific Palisades ran out of space. The Getty Villa is down the hill on the same land, looking out onto the Pacific. The building, completed in 1974, is a reproduction of a lavish 1st century CE Roman villa, the Villa of the Papyri in Herculaneum to be precise. California Science Center in October 2012 the Space Shuttle Endeavour, which took part in 25 NASA missions from 1992 to 2011, rolled through the Los Angeles streets from LAX to the California Science Center. 
At the time of writing in 2019 the shuttle was still in a temporary pavilion, and the exhibition, available with a special exhibit or IMAX theater pass, shows off this staggering piece of hardware, along with some of its fittings like the space potty, galley, tires from its final mission and the SPACEHAB logistics module, a kind of workshop for astronauts. Warner Brothers. Studio Tour. As opposed to the action-packed Universal Studio Tour, a visit to Warner Brothers close by in Burbank is less about razzle-dazzle and more about the craft of making films and TV shows. The standard tour lasts between two and three hours and packs in a visit to the sound stage where the Big Bang Theory is shot, as well as the archive and prop house, bursting with props and costume from countless movies including the Harry Potter series and the DC Universe.